Students of St. Thomas Secondary School in Kilifi have invented systems to generate electricity from the Indian Ocean, fight terrorism and improve food production. The girls have dreams of becoming engineers in future. This vehicle at St. Thomas Girls High School in Kilifi is not any ordinary vehicle. It has been modified and has five sensors that can detect an explosive at a distance of three meters. All this was made possible by two Form 3 students. Rebecca Zidia, Susan Mutai, with the assistance of their sciences teacher, Boniface Kea. The vehicle can detect improvised explosive devices buried in the ground. When you are in the bomb detecting mode, it will raise for you an alarm so that it will tell you that there is danger ahead of you. The girls hope that the blink alarm and patrol security system will help the government fight terrorism. If you take a bomb, automatically the car will come to a stop. You open the hatch doors. And after opening the hatch door, you switch on the strobe lights. The strobe lights, the ones at the front that it's lighting blue and red, will indicate the people at the front that you have sensed danger. And we also have another strobe light here that it will use to indicate the convoy behind you. That is if the ones using this car is that the military service police or the defense forces police. In another project, spearheaded by two other students, Hafwa Badru and Zuhura Njeri, both KCSE candidates, they illustrate how the Indian Ocean can be used to generate tidal electricity that can subsidize the cost of hydroelectricity. They believe it is the answer to frequent power shortages in the coast region. Kenya will be able to attain its millennium goal of producing energy which is sufficient for the whole country and will be able to supply electricity to the floodlights to prevent poaching of fish at the marine coast and also deforestation of mangrove trees along the coastal region. Another set of students at the school, Amina Mohammed and Shufa Issa, have invented electronic farming technology that enables farmers use a mobile phone to operate their farms. The project brings about multitasking. So uh, a, text, a, text, a text can come up that and the farmer can send a text to, for the food to be, to be delivered at that food container. Three other students, Esther Malau, Nomi Kerubo and Ashley Swedi, have come up with what they refer to as the hustler's boat that is geared to solving unemployment among the youth living near the ocean. The collection of our project cost of about 31000 which is hence cheaper than a normal boat that costs around 380000 We are encouraging uh, ability, we are encouraging talent building, we are also encouraging this uh, girl child uh, to appreciate the fact that just like a boy can be able to excel in uh, science, technology, engineering and maths oriented careers, so can the girl even do better. The students all want to be engineers in future. Sharon Baranga, NTV.